again and thank you so much for coming back. If you are passing here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification so that you can receive all my new uploads. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this amazing keto fufu. It is cauliflower fufu. This is a great recipe for those who are doing keto or those who want to go on a low carb diet. Stay tuned with me. Here we have the cauliflower I'm gonna be working with. So first of all, I'm gonna remove the cauliflower from the main stalk. This is the cauliflower guys. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it and after that I cut it into smaller pieces so that it will be easier to blend it in the blender. So guys, I have just washed the cauliflower. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into smaller bits. So guys, um, this is the cauliflower, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it with enough water. So guys, after blending, I'm going to put it in a bag like this one, it's a clean bag that I've washed. I want to put it here because I want to squeeze off the water. So I'm just going to add the cauliflower in the bag. Then squeeze it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the second batch in the blender. Then I went ahead and squeezed it. You mustn't remove all the water because later you are going to add yeah, excuse me with your hands like that. Okay. Now you're good to go. 
So this is the pot I'm gonna work with. I'm just gonna add the cauliflower in the pot. Now if you can feel it, it feels like Gary in the hands. If you know Gary, it feels like Gary in your hands. So we are gonna add psyllium husk to it. But like I said when I was making my eggplant fufu, I told you guys that where I live, I cannot find psyllium husk. So I always go ahead and put, um, I'm gonna add oatmeal flour. This is oatmeal that I ground, okay? I'm just gonna add oatmeal flour to it. Like I said, to bind this, you can use any flour of your choice. You can use wheat flour, cassava flour, oatmeal flour, um, rice flour, whatever binder. Especially if the binder it has a very high elasticity, that would be the best choice. Use a binder that has a very high elasticity so that you're just gonna add a liter and it will be okay so you know the essence of this fufu is to reduce the amount of carbohydrates in your system okay so you want to make sure the binder the binder has a very high elasticity and that's why for people who do keto psyllium husk or xanthan gum is the best because they have a very high elasticity they can easily bind the the, the cauliflower to its right consistent. So this is the cauliflower and oatmeal flour that I've mixed together. I'm just gonna transfer this to the stove and start cooking. Just wanna tend to medium heat. So guys, you have to just keep stirring it stir it turn it turn 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 until it gets ready remember this is cauliflower it is a kind of vegetable it is not like other starchy foods that you have to cook for a long long time before it gets ready it is cauliflower so you just have to keep stirring it stir it stir it until it gets ready it's vegetable it doesn't need so much time to get ready so keep stirring until it gets ready. I see some people add water and allow it to cook before they stir it again. But I think it's not necessary because just stirring it like this, it's going to get ready and then you can go ahead and eat it. So you stir it until it gets thick or it gets to the right consistency. guys this is all I got from the cauliflower I got four bundles this is how the fufu looks like this is what I finally got and this is what I'm gonna have for lunch today it tastes really good guys it tastes like Gary if you really know Gary then you know what I'm white Gary you know what I'm talking about yeah this is nice you can eat it with okra soup ogono soup stew eru whatever you want to eat yeah so just go ahead and eat it it tastes great guys it's really a great option for gary or a great um substitute for gary or any other fufu for those who are going low carbs or you're trying to do keto 
this is a great recipe for you to use as a substitute to fufu or gari it's and then the good thing about it is that it really tastes great guys it tastes great that's it guys this is the end of this video i really do hope you enjoy it and guys if you like gari and you want to go on a low carb diet this is the best alternative for you it tastes exactly like gari you know the white gari right please try it try it and let me know it is wonderful it is everything guys so just try it and thank me later thanks so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't yet guys what are you waiting for now please subscribe to my channel give your sister a hand support me guys and let's move on together thanks so much for watching and see you in my next